Okay, so I'm excited to try out this new mod that mirrors real life by adding inflation to the game. So this is a mod made by Timothy, a shout out to him, and more specifically, it is a challenge mod where after each round passes, all prices are increased by 3%, but your income is only increased by 2.8. On top of that, your towers shoot 2% slower and your ability cooldowns are up by 2%. Think of this as planned obsolescence. And your towers also lose 3% of their value, which I think is in terms of sell price. Now, it's intended to be played on Chimps or Propawall, on Challenge Editor with Intermediate or Beginner Map, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Intermediate Map and Stream Bed on Chimps mode. And if this mod does indeed mimic real life, then it should be very, very difficult. So let's begin. I think I'll just do a dart and sniper start, I guess. So you'll see once this round ends that every price on the right hand side just got up by 3%. So the dart monkey went at five bucks and it'll probably be the same after the end of round seven here. So on one hand, it's probably good to get the tower you want dropped as soon as possible. So you don't have to pay a premium for it. But don't forget that with the lesser attack speed, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Pick your poison kind of thing. But that's it. I'm actually not sure what is actually better to do, but I think it's probably better just to hold off because these attack speed's pretty brutal, I feel like. I think I did some number crunching and like, if you drop a tower right now, by the end of the game, it'll be at like 30% attack speed. Just some food for thought. So we shall see how long I can hold off. Okay, I think we can beat round nine, just barely. Definitely need something for round 10. I would have liked to save it for Adora, but I think we need to drop one more tower. Yeah, we're so close. Do you think if you drop one extra Dart Monkey, which is $30 more expensive, but full attack speed, is that enough to save for Adora? Well, we'll try, we'll try. I know again to lose-lose going for a hero super early, because it's going to be so slow attacking by the end, but we just kind of need some early game defense. So over here. But with that said, I guess it's important to, if I am thinking about a tier 5 for the end of this game here, to not drop it unless absolutely necessary, because I obviously don't want the attack speed loss. And obviously I can't afford the tier 5 until uh, I have the money to buy it straight up. So on that note, it's best to just bank the cash for, uh, you know, not even buying the tier 4 upgrade. Just so I have some decent attack speed by dropping it like maybe near the end of the game or when I, whenever I can afford it. So I guess the game plan slash strategy here would be to go for uh, some early game tower. And if I am going to drop an early game tower, I guess I'll drop it now. Again, I know a 030 Druid is uh, a very strong tower to get, but since I can't afford it, I, I'll just do that trick I, I mentioned like a minute ago. I'll wait for like, I don't know how much it costs now, but it's been 12 rounds and our Dark Monkey is almost increased in price by 50%. Yikes. And our income probably only increased by like 45% in the time span. The thing is, it's pretty close, like the uh, income growth, but the thing is, like think of it in real life, if you made uh, $5 an hour in, 1980. That $5 you made in 1980 is still $5 today, which is kind of the same principle in BTD. Like, that, say, $200 I made on round 10 will probably be worth uh, 50 in round 100, or probably even less given the how high the inflation is now. I think I can buy the Druid straight up, so I'll give it a go. Oh, I can't. That's how expensive the Druid is, guys. I can't even afford it yet. Well, I'll just wait and take the L on the 2% attack speed loss. I also need a uh, camo. Should I just upgrade one of these to camo? Let me just see. I was thinking about dropping a ninja, but what if I want to get a ninja to like a Sabo later? Because I'm pretty sure too that if I did drop a tower, but didn't get an ability for it yet, yet, it would still decay while I don't have the ability, if that makes any sense. Oh, also, I forgot to buy Hearthorns. Oof, that's gonna suck. I probably spent an extra $50 more than I would need to there, but yeah, what's next on the table? I want something that like this thing could probably get up up, up to like uh, the early 40s now i need a tower to hopefully save me up for a, a tier 5 which i have no idea what i have in mind yet i just know that a good tier 4 is phoenix you know one thing that doesn't scale down over time is passive buffs such as radar scanner so why not get that for round 33 because i guess i'll need it anyways oh crap i can't even afford it yeah that's gonna be a problem what i want to do for a 33 then should i drop a ninja really just to beat this round Nah, Ninja would be too expensive. Let me just try spending 1 point whatever K on a crossbow, which is going to be severely attack speed reduced, so I don't know if that even works, but let me just see. I think it's going to barely work, and I don't know if this can make it to 36, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, again, all this money in banking, which has probably been being banked for like the last 10 rounds, uh, like it, it's been devalued because the inflation, man. Like the price of these towers have been in 
increasing faster than the price of eggs. Not gonna lie. Okay, now I can buy Reader Scanner, so I'll get that. And I guess I'll get Jungle Drums as quickly as possible, too. Man, $3.9 thousand dollars for it. Are we sure this is uh, bound to be played on stream by chips? Because I feel like I'm so poor. For the amount of towers I have in the game, I have, like, barely any extra spirit funds. Buy Jungle Drums now. Oh, crap. I gotta go for another tower now, though. $8,000, and we are struggling because the door is shooting so slowly. And here's round 40. I don't know if this is going to work or not. No, we don't have, we don't have um, wall popping. This is obviously not going to work. Well, let's uh, see our options. I did say again I wanted to go for a D breath. And good thing this only removes for the same amount. It doesn't go up. Let me just see though. Is this even affordable? It's not. Okay, let's try another 030 Druid for the mid game. It's going to cost a pretty penny. I don't even know if it beats a Moat, but let's try again. I think we're going to pop the Moat player, but yeah, we can only one shot two of the... Uh, no, it doesn't even pop. Okay, can I at least get a Mauler then? Barely. Now I'm worried about not being able to pop the, the balloons. Alright, three SRAMs. Gotta use the ability here. And come on, Vines. I need one more. Okay, good. Well, I hate to have to use it that early, but whatever. Let's go for a discount village now. I, th I think it's definitely worth it. Oh, and also, I forgot to explain. A uh, good reason why I brought Adora is because uh, if I can beat this round... For sacrificing ability. So I think the more a tower costs, the more XP you get. So that's going to be huge for Adora, obviously. Because these towers are going to be uh, super expensive. I, I can just get rid of the Decay Towers that I got early on in the game. So that just feeds XP into Adora. And let me just get Deep Breath now. And uh, I guess I have to save it for Phoenix. Because, I mean, uh, that's like the biggest thing about... Like, Deep Breath is good mid-game, but the Phoenix is what really makes it strong. But too bad I have to get it now, though. Because, yeah, this... The cooldown is going to be 10% uh, like decay by the time I afford this. But I guess I'll be uh, be very careful with my use of the Phoenix. Because I don't think... Yeah, the ability doesn't get any weaker. It did attacks be lost on the main tower, but but the Phoenix itself is fully powered. That's why they have to add the extra ability cooldown to uh, balance it, you know? Okay, so let's buy it now. $23,000. Very cool. And uh, I need to think of a tier 5. But I don't have to think of it until I lose. Because, again... Like, I'm planning on just keeping that tier 5 for the entire rest of the game. Or rather, um, it might be a little bit too early to go for that tier 5 right now. Because it's only round 50. And I was thinking, maybe I would get it, like, round 80. So that it doesn't get decay too hard. And, you know, right now, I don't think these towers can beat, uh, like, up to round 80. So maybe, I guess I could go for, like, two Dragon's Breaths. If I feel like we're, we have a problem on our hands. Or something else that's decent mid-game. We got options. It may look like we have a lot of money to work with right now, 85k, but trust me, it's not. Like, if we take a look at the, just the base price of Dark Monkey, yeah, inflation over 54 rounds uh, has basically been 5x original, and I think I need to use uh, Phoenix finally this round. Yeah, I didn't use the Phoenix the entire time, the entire time I bought it, but you will see right here just how strong it is. Basically, full attack speed, and we'll probably die 63 because I don't have it up for uh, all three waves, so I guess I'll... Get my Phoenix up then. My second Phoenix or something. Actually, damn. I don't think I'm gonna even be able to beat 62 right now. Okay. New tower now. now. Okay, second Phoenix is it. It is. So, uh, this basically cost me, wow, $45,000. Now, subtly not rich anymore. So, if you think about it in another way, since the Phoenix costs normally about, like, 10k, and I used up over half my money there, I only had about, like, 15k. This was, like, standardized to normal rates. I think just looking at the numbers there, it's going to be difficult affording, like, a tier 5 of any price. We just kind of have to hope that this, again, defense can survive us another 15 rounds or so. So, again, while I do have 181k, given the inflation of these towers, I have closer to, like, 19,000, which is not even close to tier 5. So, I don't know what I want to do, honestly. Maybe this just challenge is just not possible with going for uh, a tier 5. You just have to spam weird weak tier threes possibly. I could also go for uh, a Sun Avatar strategy because don't forget, the Dora has that buff. That synergy with Sun Avatars. Okay, we survived 77, so let's see again for 78 here. Do I need all light? The thing is, like, because the cooldowns are so long at this point, I don't think I have any abilities up for it. Like, the second wave of 78, but I guess we'll see if the Phoenix comes back. Okay, this Phoenix came back because I only got it, uh, what, 20 rounds ago? So I guess I'll use it now, and uh, let me just see if I need to use a second one or not. Uh, I'll have to use it now. I think I'm dead. 
No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I can get a Sun Avatar right now. If I wanted to. The money is, uh, kinda there. Let's just see again if I can possibly squeeze out a couple more rounds. Okay, fellas, I think this round calls for, uh, uh, what do you call it? A Sun Avatar? Unless two Phoenixes can clean up. Close. Okay, let me just, uh, check how, how close the money is. If I can buy something else. Oh, I have 60,000 extra dollars. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so knowing I have 60,000 extra dollars, I think I should just get some support towers that, uh, won't do too bad when attacks be nerfed, so, like, more blue. Yeah, and it's better to get towers like these down as soon as possible. This only costs... $27,000. Actually, should I buy a Splatter 2 while I'm at it? You know what? Yeah. With less attack speed, I can use a Splatter. The thing that's rough, though, is that, like, I can barely afford one Sun Avatar, and I'm pretty sure I need, well, one, well more than one Sun Avatar in order just to, uh, beat round, uh, round 100. I think it was actually a great choice that we went for, uh, some ability towers, because it feels like those are less impacted than, uh, you know, just the base tower, because obviously... I can choose when to use the ability and get the full power from it, even though the cooldown's way longer. That being said, I think I need to get some Avatar now. Going is getting tough. I can also outbuff them, but I don't know when I'd want to. Honestly, if I was going for Sun Avatar, I was probably gonna gotten two discounts, but that's whatever. And then the range is pretty good already, so we'll go for a uh, knockback on it, 301. And uh, I'll buy outbuff later, I guess. Yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty much out of money, so that's really, really yikes. Actually, I'll just go for it now. Actually, no, I'll wait. I actually should have bought this way earlier, too. Bigger radius. Because uh, I think I want my second Sun Avatar, if I can afford it, that is. No idea if I can yet, but I'm hoping I can. But I want to put it over here. Okay, I crunched the numbers, and this Sun Avatar will only go down to 69% of its original attack speed by around 100. Nice. And I believe at this point in the game, with inflation, we are now at 11 times the original cost of towers on round 6. So... Uh, yeah, and just doing this quick math, we have about, like, 18k of capital on hand, which is still far away from a Sun Avatar. That's why I'm hesitant to drop out buff, because I guess I could probably use a second, uh, Sun Avatar before the out buff. I don't know. Okay, this isn't good. I cannot beat round 89. Unless I use my Ball of Light. I think I'll drop out buff now. We have waited long enough, I think. Only a tier 3, just because, again, I want a Penny Pinch in case I can't afford a second Sun Avatar. This right here should be a huge help, and it kind of benefits with the less attack speed of the Sun Avatar 2. Because that means more a, a bigger percentage of, it, of its attacks will have Alpha on it, if you know what I mean. Obviously better if the Sun Avatar was attacking fully, but for the context of this situation, I think it's pretty alright. I think it might also be worth it to invest on something to slow down Serams too, because I am struggling. I think I probably should have gone Arctic Wind a lot earlier, because now it's super expensive. And the thing is, like, y the attack speed doesn't affect the, uh, just 60% slowdown of the ceramic, so that probably would have been handy. Staying alive, staying alive. Uh, how about another Phoenix? The cooldown's so long, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah, close, though. Okay, to avoid spending any more this round, we'll sacrifice early, and maybe we will just go for, uh, the Arctic Wind now. Actually, I just realized I can't, I can't use Arctic Wind, because I, I can't place the Super Monkey and the ice over there, if you know what I mean. Dead again. Okay, here we go again. Let's sacrifice the sniper for attack speed. Phoenix now. And then Phoenix again. Come on, double Phoenix. Uh... Oh my god, I think we survive. Nice. Just by the skin or teeth. But again, it doesn't get any easier. I don't even know if I can beat 93. Just the F... The FBs here. I can't. Sacrifice. Still dead. Okay, I also just realized there's a, there's a bit of a retry last round bug. Because I'm pretty sure I had no abilities up when uh, I restarted the round. But now all the abilities are up. So, yeah, not sure what I can do about that. But mm, I'll keep that in mind for the last stretch. I think I kind of already illegally used some abilities. Forgive me for it was an accident. Now, I think 94 is just so intense that I need... I need to sign out to her now. If I can afford it, that is. Okay, please let the money be there, please. Barely, oh my god. See? If I spent any more money, I wouldn't have this. And I'm not sure if I want to cross path this with the Ranger Knockback, but I guess we'll see. We already have one with Knockback, so I feel like this should just be extra range for earlier damage. Yeah, if there's anything I could use, it's certainly more range and more pierce, so let's get it. 37k is not enough for an out buff at this point in the game, so we'll just have to see if this works. Yeah, that fresh Sun Avatar is helping, like, pay dividends right now. 
That's what we need. And let me just go ahead and go for an outlaw. Not discounted, but it's whatever. There we go. Pretty cheap. Should I go for a stronger stim too? You know what? Screw it. It's worth. I don't know about you, but this run is looking uh, pretty decent. I need to get a door to level 20 though, because I feel like it'd be really good for like uh, around 100. Because I don't know if we have enough bad damage, to be honest. Maybe hell, even 98, but that's so many levels away. I need to sacrifice a really expensive tower. Yeah, not sure what that tower would even be, to be honest. Got 170k to work with, so if I can't beat this round, I'll just add support with, like, uh, a more price or something. I guess we could also save money for a spike store for 100 if I, uh, can't find anything else. Yeah, and save ball light so that I have around 100. I think I'm dead, though, yeah. Fortifies are extremely OP. So how much does a more press cost me? Uh, just, uh, like, 60k or so. That should be a 2 4 by the way. I'll try, try the round again if I can't beat it. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just going for a Spike Storm. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't even afford it. I'll buy it mid-round. I doubt one extra mole press is enough to beat this round, but... I don't know. So, uh, when should we use the Sacrifice ability? I'll probably use it now on the Crossbow. However, the problem is that the cooldown is so long because I got a door so early that... I'm probably dead to Srams, yeah. Okay, last Hail Mary. I'm just going to Sacrifice one avatar, Sun Avatar. For a level 20 Adora. And honestly, it might just work given that uh, I got an insane amount of attack speed. And don't forget, right, I think you get an ability reset when you use a Adora's level 22, right? Okay, hey, hang on, hang on. I can't tell if we bugged out Adora or something, but she, she seems to be shooting at an incredibly fast speed, even though we got her like at level 10. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I think I uh, kind of broke the mod. You see that the cooldown of the attack speed with the sacrifice is normal. So uh, I cannot take this run even if I beat it. <laughs> Because that's illegal. Although, you know what? Just for completionist's sake, I will uh, quote-unquote do that and cheese it in a way. Because y'all know, it really sucks to uh, quit on a challenge. So, we'll beat it, even if it's a little bit unfair. Yeah, let me go ahead and use level 3. Yeah, she's definitely shooting at normal attack speed. It's funny because this still may not be enough. But, it looks really close this time. Come on. Maybe I'll drop an Ice Tower if I need to. Uh, Sacrifice War out, so I'll use Sacrifice again for extra attack speed, and... Uh, yeah, we needed so much help to beat this round. It's crazy. Yeah, same thing with round 99. I have to use Ball Light for this one. I don't think there's any chance of surviving without. And we gotta have to hope that Spike Storm and all that is also enough for uh, round 100, so let's do it, I guess. We'll buy, like, one Assassin with the extra money. Uh, another Spike Storm... I actually don't think we can beat this. Yeah, okay, the ability cooldown seems to be working uh, again now, which is weird. Because it didn't work when I... Uh, it was originally a normal cooldown for 98. But uh, as you can see, everything is uh, slow cooldowns now for around 100. And again, the reset last round messes up the cooldowns and everything. So I wasn't able to get Ball Light originally, but now I can. All right, so let's see if Ball Light can just last long enough to end this off. Okay, no, I can't. But we got Hope Spike Storm and the rest is enough. Uh, come on. Close. Okay, how about now? There we go. <laughs> totally legitimate run, guys. Uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, in all seriousness, I feel like... Honestly, some of the modifiers could probably re be reduced a little bit, because that was brutal. Never has a stream at Chimps run been, uh, that crazy before, but again, just like real life, it is tough. And just like real life, there are exploits to, uh, get out on top. Alright, that's it. See you next time.